Nat 20. Action. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Nat 20. Uh, we're continuing our improv sessions. It's the fourth episode now. Uh, <laughs> I believe. Very interesting. All right, so where we last left off was our adventurers went and found the dragon's lair, met the dragon Dalmac, an ancient brass dragon who's of the gargantuan size. Uh, me and Gwen immediately jumped on his head. And we killed him. <laughs> what? <laughs> and um, as a dragon lifted his head to light the dome up and create light, Mia Gwen fell off. He was gnarly. Um, <laughs> after that, they learned that the dragon is actually being trapped there by the city that lies above him. Uh, due to the Gavin, the arcane artist controller of the magic that goes on in the city. So the dragon proposed to them the idea that if they can release the magic and free uh, Delmac, that he will reward them with treasure from his hoard. And the adventurers agreed. They decided that was a great idea. So yeah. Delmac then left them from the lair and uh, Zanzian. Mm-hmm. Uh, what were you going to say? Oh yeah, and then we immediately didn't do it. Yeah, and then you immediately didn't do it as Zanzian remembered his boat, his vessel, and he had to go check it out. So the whole party rushed to the boat to only find that there's a huge hole uh, in its hull. <laughs> and Zanzian did some investigating, looking around, found out that his entire crew was dead and slain, yeah. found out his captain died. Uh, then uh, Sora came in and said some rude, insulting words in a time of grief. Zanzian then, which uh, stabbed Sora in the neck and nearly killed her. But, oh, look, shit. but Mia Gwyn saved the day, brought Sora back to life, uh, after Sora also struck a blow to Zanzian's thigh, giving him a limp. And he was not healed oh, yeah, for his right. actions. Uh, Whatever. After that, Zanzian heard some footsteps below him, so he rushed to the scene of the crime, and then his party stayed back to loot the place. Well, he was not there. Uh, Assholes. <laughs> we gave ourselves away. Damn it. <laughs> Zanzian uh, then, in fact, found one of the pirates he previously had talked to in the tavern, uh, who was trying to sneak his way out. He intimidated them, held them hostage, threatened him, asked him what was going on. Uh, he caved in, told him that they had slain his entire crew, blew a hole in the ship. He was very honest. Um, very blunt about it. Props to him for that, I guess. Yeah. It's not a lot, but it's honest work. <laughs> and uh, while he was doing that, the party was clanging stones together in the captain's quarter. <laughs> uh, and taking various other items. Into which they met back up with Zanzian. Um, the, then they want to... Uh, Zanzian found out that there was... two other. The two other pirates were there, hiding... And so to lure them out, uh, they looked around. But Nifand luckily just looked up and saw one right above them and shot him in the leg. And he got stuck to the ceiling. He swung out, dangling there, until eventually Miaguin stabbed him in the back. He didn't get to say much. Uh, the other one, uh, who is the leader of the tr- trio, uh, was upstairs uh, and was intimidated out of this spot by Zanzian. And when he re- when he joined up with the party, he was then stabbed real quick by Mia Gwen again. Uh, Zanzian then informed, um, or Brachus then informed that uh, they made a pact with a very dangerous man, a being, and there's going to probably be consequences for the party. The party may experience some slight trouble. Either within two to four weeks or tomorrow. If you experience any discomfort, please call your doctor. <laughs> Just continue use. After that, Zanzian uh, suggested, uh, or pretty much told Brachus that he should be his first mate, gather his crew, fix up the ship in a week, or suffer consequences. Brachus kind of pretty much did agree uh, after a little more talking and did so. The party then continued on to the city where they had some lovely chats. And this is where we will continue. <sighs> okay, so you guys have approached once again the city of Avec Cordon. Uh, you are right at the base of the beam that will lead you into the city. It is emitting uh, transparent blue energy. Um, 
Last time you went through this, you remember it was very nice and delicate with your body. It just kind of glided you up. Felt like you weren't really being touched at all. Uh, with that, you take a step forward and you all lift up gradually to the city um, and you reach the first level. You are greeted with the guard barracks right ahead of you, um, which most of this architecture is stonework. Uh, very like, smooth stone that seemed to have been chiseled to look better. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, what the fuck? <laughs> Those of you who don't know, Tony's just making coffee right now because that's what he needs to be doing. Yeah, couldn't have done that while we were doing <laughs> like, the half hour break we um, just took. But whatever. The streets <laughs> are mildly busy. <laughs> People. <laughs> um, you got the lovely... You see the water that... Uh, for the rain that's falling from above you is just hitting the dome and gliding off around the edges. <laughs> oh my god. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, so the streets are mildly busy with various nobles. As if you did join us. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, everybody. My name's Tony. <laughs> uh, everyone here looks quite poor and wretched. Their clothes are dirty and tattered. Uh, they look like they haven't had a shower in months. Um, yet the air smells clean and nice. It smells fresh. Probably using Febreze. <laughs> Um, it's one of those Febreze commercials. <laughs> yes, no, the Tide commercial. Tide. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, Mia Gwen just pinches her nose very visibly <laughs> as she walks by them. <laughs> well, it doesn't smell bad. No, but they smell bad. Oh. <laughs> I guess then, yeah. <laughs> just looking at them, she pinches her nose very visibly. <laughs> Ew, poor people. <laughs> the people give you a look of disgust as you do that. Hey, what's your deal? <laughs> they just kind of shake their head and keep on walking. Shakes her head back. And Some people kind of like tisk at you. They sway their I finger. am riding an elk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm riding my you elk in car. Okay, they shouldn't be even giving me side-eye glances. <laughs> one day you'll become one of them. I've tasted blood. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I've tasted blood from last session. <laughs> so, Dude, where brutal, would yeah. you guys like, what would you guys like to do? We gotta go find that guy. You gotta go find Gavin, yeah. That's Should we head to the treasure? Yeah, let's go find the map or find the treasure. Yeah, we'll find the treasure. I guess so, because there's a good chance that once we do this, the city will be destroyed. So if yeah. we're gonna get the treasure, we should probably do that first. All right, well, the map leads you to the barracks, which are currently right in front of you. Go oh, next. Nice. All right. Is the, door, my way in there. is the door unlocked? <laughs> From our stones! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! The door is unlocked. Luck 100. <laughs> but it's not because of the stones. Oh, oh. Well, we don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> door's just unlocked. Cool. I'm just looking. Um, anyways, uh, Zanzian goes busting in the door oh, immediately, yeah. and the door slams open and hits against the stone wall. And gal bathroom. And immediately you see all the city guards are just stopped looking at you. Some of them actually drew their weapons from being surprised. Wait! There's about, like... Hennish guards in here right now. Like Everyone needs to get out of our way. We're on a mission from Gavin. <laughs> from from who? Gavin, the arcane artist. What is your mission? To save the city. Save this. That's very blunt. And vague. Exactly. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna need more information. I just don't the believe the city's that. gonna explode. No, it's not. Oh, is the it? city's gonna, gonna get gonna completely diseased and radioactive. Yeah, yeah. it was like parts for exploding. Yeah. From the uh, magic, he needs us to fix it, so you need to get out of our way. Yeah, he needed us to get dragon's blood, and I plowed a, a bottle, but it's actually a, the liquor bottle instead. <laughs> Don't worry um, about him, he's an alcoholic! <laughs> you mind if I see that? Wait. Uh, he, like, uncorks it, <laughs> takes a drink, he's like, run bottle. <laughs> Drinks more, and then puts his back and grabs the right one. The guards look visibly displeased. <laughs> The point is, all of you trying to deceive them, um, so we can get by. Does the map tell me anything more, or is it just like this building? No, there's a house that was crossed off right by the barracks. Yeah, right by the barracks. Oh, we didn't actually yeah, okay. go to the oh. barracks. <laughs> cool. I'll just bow out. <laughs> um, wrong, wrong door. Sorry. Common rabble, nothing more. Weird. All right, the guys go back to doing their business. Peace out, muchachos. Um, 
All right, so uh, you go to the marked uh, building, yeah. uh, and it's not there. Okay. It's, it doesn't seem to be where it should be. You're standing where it should be. It is not there. What it is, is just it? stone floor. I start digging. Stone floor? Well, pirates always bury their treasure. And I start what do you dig with, it? though? Because uh, these are just stones. This is, this is heavy yeah. stones. You... Can I look for any, like, secret openings or, like, yeah. handles or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. rule investigation. I would like to as well. I mean, I, I, I have ahead. channel divinity. Yeah, I'm going to sure investigate wrath it. Or it's it's just 11. 11. No. 16. Uh, 16? I'll use my trident. Try it. Try it. Like, pick it up, like, trying to, like, push it in the cracks and wedge, like, pieces of stone. Yeah. I got a dirty 20. For your investigation? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, real strength to try and remove stones? Uh, 12. No, 13. 13. No, 11. God damn it. You should, yeah. you should destroy the stones with the stones. He took my stone. <laughs> All right, you have to actually put a little more than moderate effort into prying up these stones, but slowly and surely you are knocking a couple of them up and out of there. Don't worry, guys. Uh, Give me 16 hours and this will be done in no time. Just revealing <laughs> dirt. Uh, the rest of you ever and you're searching... Uh, I guess, uh, Sora, you'd be the first to know this. Um, there's a stone not too far from where the X is, and it looks like shattered, but it's intact. Looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like when you shatter a piece of glass and it just spiders out, but it still stays mm-hmm. in one piece. Sora, that's you? Yes, sorry. I was reading a power spell. Okay, I didn't know if you... Listening. So. Oh, you no, weren't listening. No. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um. Yeah. So you found a stone that's intact, but it looks like it's been smashed to pieces. Oh. It's still in one piece. It's just in with the rest. Uh, and then yeah. right after the uh, you, like the that we built. Zanzian <laughs> and uh, Nifan, you both notice it as well. Okay. Um. Hmm. Have I revealed dirt? Because if I have, I'll start. Yeah, I've revealed dirt. All right, uh, you begin digging through the dirt. That's currently what you're doing right now. Don't yeah. worry, guys. Like, taking my trident, just like scraping. <laughs> I'll be in here in no time. I'm feeling not Mine right. for diamonds. Uh, I'll go check out these broken together stones. Yeah, I'm yeah. just. It's gonna, just one stone, but it's just stone. shattered, okay. but it's intact. I'm just going to try to, like, move around, move it around, and use my thieves tools on it, do anything that'll. Do just something. trying to figure out how to do anything with this stone. Okay, um. Roll sleight of hand, and then uh, intelligence check. Sleight of hand, so you can try and keep it intact as you. Uh, thirteen for sleight of hand, and then intelligence. Just straight intelligence. Just straight intelligence. Four. Four. Okay, so you're you're navigating the stone quite well. You're not breaking it, making any pieces fall off, and the pieces you do move, you put together uh, right where they belong. But you find nothing. It just looks like a smashed up stone. Okay. That somehow stays together. You have... Yeah, you learn nothing other than that. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, I'm stumped. I'll, I'll take a real hard look at the stone and see if I can figure out what's what with it. If it's like a mechanism or a trap or something like that. Well, yeah. perception. Can I call on can my I deity to just, aid us? In can I do that as well? Yeah. Right. You want to call your deity? Malar, the god of the hunt. 13. I want to see if he has any answers. 12 and? Yeah, 13. 13. 13. And what are you asking your deity? Oh, great Malar! We're on the hunt for treasure! He's the god of the hunt. Uh, <laughs> any aid, please aid us in our ventures. Um, it's quiet for a little bit. And then suddenly you get a flash of, like, white in your brain. Oh! <laughs> and you're having a vision now. Uh, I'm having a vision, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, as the white fades, uh, you see the stone, the cracked up stone. Um, but you see that it, it's actually intact. It's not shattered right now. And you see a man, uh, a very small man who's wearing a hood. He looks to be maybe a three-ish feet tall. Uh, and he takes that stone, he picks it up, and under it is like a very tiny chest. It's only about the size of uh, of one of the stones, actually. 
that placed in there. It's just underneath that one. And then as he places it back, he puts it in gently. And then he takes a hammer and a nail and he just starts cracking the stone apart. And then he walks away with it. The chest? The, the chest. My friends! <laughs> the gods have spoken! <laughs> Some tiny man took the chest. <laughs> <laughs> and I removed the shattered thing out. I just pulled it out. Uh, as you remove it, it kind of just falls and crumbles to pieces. Yeah, and as you clear the debris, yeah, there's a hole there. Like, what you would think there would be a chest, but it's not there. Aha! Uh-huh, I was right! Uh, there's a man, he, he, a small man, three feet tall. He took the chest and then he shattered that stone. Uh, we need to find him and we'll find the treasure. Sounds Maybe fun. it was a leprechaun. Or a dwarf, or a like thing, or no, literally anything. Like, just a lot of small people here. Weirdo. Uh, and Ethan looks at you, kind of annoyed. You're small! Get over it! <laughs> <laughs> Can I try and find tracks from this small man? Well, survival. Yell the bug. Uh, 16. 16. Uh, you pick up the scent of the creature. It's a, It's quite foul. I can smell him? You can smell his scent, yeah. That's fine. Tell- As you kind of get lower to the ground, you go, you can get the scent of, like, uh, wine and uh, bananas. I smell bananas and wine! <laughs> and I jump on the horse back and I say, let's get this motherfucker. <laughs> He's this way. Follow me, everybody. All right. And I'll lead right. on. I'm completely baffled by what she's going on about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Follow. So, you are... Led away from the guard barracks more to what seems to be the plague section. Uh, nice. As you approach it, you get the hint to just turn left now. As that's where the scent's leading you, leading you to the one of the abandoned sectors of the first level. Which is just a place that kind of had an economic breakdown and no one lives there anymore. Everything just kind of decays. Uh, as you go up to the gate, you find that the gate is closed and there are two guards uh, in full metal armor. With a shield tucked in close to their chest and then a sword on their belt. And they stand, guarding it, preventing you from getting in there. And that's where the scent leads you. I try to just casually walk past them. There's a gate that's oh. down. Yeah. Uh, okay, I walk up and I say, Friends! We have been sent by Gavin... You know what? Gavin Whittingham. Whittingham. Gavin Whittingham to save this city from impending doom. <laughs> stand aside! <laughs> um... What sort of proof do you have? Do we have proof? No. Just the, the blood. blood. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we do not just believe any common rabble that some citizen comes up and tells us. I, I look up and I'm like, Gavin Winningham! Gavin Winningham! Gavin Winningham! Because I'm trying to summon him like Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm lost. How um, am I supposed to prove it to you? <laughs> Nefand will say, he ordered us to get dragon's blood. For magical purposes, and we have it, and he pulls out the bottle the time he looks at it before, oh, uh, to make sure it's the right one. Yeah, you mind just uncorking that? And yeah, he unpops it. Uh, that's blood. I don't know if it's dragon's blood or not that. I don't know what dragon's blood looks like, but... Uh, it's be positive. <laughs> look, I'm sorry, but that's just not proof enough. If you want entry, you need a note or sanction from a council member. Or the leader himself, or Gavin. What are you even guarding against? People from entering in here and destroying and just ruining it more. <laughs> That's That's a weird and job. doing illegal can tasks I, and activities. Can I use Charm Person on him? Yeah, you can cast Charm Person on him. <laughs> <laughs> There's two guards that remember. Oh, is there one? Well, charm oh, guard. you do that, and I'll use Channel Divinity Nature's Wrath to entangle the other cast, one. Cast, <laughs> if you have a second level spell slot, you can charm both. What? Oh, yeah, I do. You can so, cast at second level and you can charm two others, or two. Uh, yeah, I can. Mm-hmm. So there's that option. Yeah, I'm going to cast it as a second level. Okay. They got to oh, make okay. wisdom saves. And then can I just yeah. Misty Step past the gate? How? What does Misty Step do? It's a teleportation spell. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's like a short, like I think 30 feet or something. Yeah, like, you could. Are you doing that right now? Yeah. While they're blocking you. Okay. No, are you I waiting for him? I, I don't know what he's doing. He's charming both of them. Do I notice he's doing that? Like, what I know? Um, yeah, I guess he hasn't done anything yet, so... Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah I'm gonna do it right now, so I mean, unless you... I he did, his like, character doesn't know that, yeah. so... I thought Mia was just gonna be like, okay, and then Misty Step, because she's 
Then on the hunt. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. Is it a gate that goes all the way up, or does it stop after like eight feet or whatever? It goes like about six feet up. Okay. And then, yeah, and then that's where it stops. That's cool. about its entire length that it can go up. Why do you ask? I'm gonna make a run and jump and jump over the gate and climb over the gate. Yeah, this is a lot of shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so first off, you, uh, Mia Gwyn, Misty stepping. So easily, yeah, you just go into like an ethereal form, and you just glide through the bars, and then you return, and the guards are just eye contacting you as you do this, and then immediately like. <laughs> Raise the gate! Well, they don't... Did they see me disappear? Or would it been like a poof, smoke, and then poof, on the other side? Is that how it works? Would they know? Yeah. Well, they like, would hear it. Oh, I guess And they're so. making eye contact with you. Like, you're not ah, stealth. Right. All right, now nah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I just immediately started running after the scent. I'm on the hunt! I can't stop now! All right, Go so the rest of you just see me again bolted into the abandoned sector. Wait um, for us! Oh, wait for you! Charm them. And now you can charm them. Okay, so they gotta make wisdom saves. What do they have to beat? Uh, just my wisdom. Yeah, thirteen. Well, it's your no, spell save DC. Oh, spell save. Oh, sorry. Which is uh, wisdom proficiency. Plus eight wisdom proficiency. Eight, so eight. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one got a seventeen. The other got a natural yeah. twenty. Oh, no, um, yeah. Yeah. Four. Twelve. Yeah. What? One got a seventeen, the other got a natural twenty. That's brutal. So your yeah, your charm fails and they know you tried to charm them. Oh, okay. But they don't really phase it cool. that much because it did not work. Um, don't do that again. Don't do that again. <laughs> can I immediately try it again? <laughs> yeah, you can. Alright. No, uh, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just kidding. So I'm just gonna try and while they're looking at Sora, I'm gonna run and jump as high as I can onto the gate and then climb. And I have second story work, which means I can climb faster than usual. It doesn't cost me extra movement to climb. So maybe... Okay, uh, just do an athletics check for me. Hell yes. Okay. Oh! <laughs> uh, 6 plus 8 is 14. What's that big? 14. Um... Okay, I called, I called that one. So are you yeah. charming them again? Uh, no. No? I was okay. kidding. All right, so as you just bolt it between them and start climbing the gate as the gate begins to raise, it carries you even faster up. Oh, sweet. To your climb, and so you clear it no problem. And you're oh, over cool. You're over in a couple of seconds. Uh, can I yeah. try the same thing? You can, but the gate's op- open now. Oh, okay. Just walk Because yeah. the guards are already, like... Okay, so this is the scenario. Fuck <laughs> I didn't expect any misty stepping to happen. Okay. <laughs> the guards immediately are rushing towards you now. And the second the gate opens, they bypass you, Zanzian, and they're making their way towards you. I have a good like head start, though. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah. But they're on their way. I'm uh, sorry, this had to be done! <laughs> had to be done. So, I'm you're on gonna, the other side. I'm going to walk in. You're going to walk in. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, just walking in. At this point, I just left our post. Just there. Fucking idiot. You're going to stand there still? Yeah. <laughs> you're going to stay there? I'm like, wondering why we're... Oh, okay. Hate. No, I'll slowly fall. Slowly? Okay. All I'm right. just fucking fucking it after. Alright, so, so far, you are rushing in the direction that Mia Gwyn is heading. Mia Gwyn, you are getting close. The smell is getting stronger. It's getting more pungent. I uh, call back, oh, almost there! <laughs> almost there, don't worry! Uh, you take a couple of rights. Uh, you take about two rights, then a left. Uh, one more left, and then you go straight for like another fifteen-ish feet. Three hundred meters, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then finally, you reach a very small building. It's uh, the other buildings are normal size, quite huge. It's going to go about you know like ten feet up, but this house only goes like six-ish feet up, and it's kind of shoved in an alleyway. But it's a fully constructed home. Uh, I just run right to the door, <laughs> like crash in. How tall are you? Uh, and the door never is it suddenly out. unlocked. What are you? Because oh, I'm five foot four. Five foot four. Six hundred and twenty-four. <laughs> so you're gonna be yeah, okay. Um, That's how old you are. Yeah. Immediately, you go barreling towards the home. Roll a strength check. Actually, roll yeah, roll a strength check. Actually, not that one. Uh, nine. Nine. Uh, you go barreling towards the home, and as you impact with. 
not really the door, the but like most of the house, the front end, uh, you just bang against it and you hear the wood and you feel the wood splinter and kind of cave in. But you don't barrel and break through it, but you ruin the home. You ruin the front end of the house and you just kind of fall back and hit the ground. At which point the two guards catch up to you Buck. and the rest of you have followed behind the guards. I, 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 I would, wait, after. just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. <sighs> you made me run too much. In a full suit of armor. <laughs> you, I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna arrest you now. I use Channel Divinity in Nature's Wrath. Uh, what does that do? You can use your Channel Divinity to invoke primeval forces to ensnare a foe. As an action, you can cause spectral vines to spring up and reach for a creature within 10 feet of you that you can see. You must see in a strength or dex saving throw or be restrained. While restrained by the vines, the creature repeats the saving throw at the end of each turn. On a success, it frees itself and the vines vanish. And do it to both of them? Yeah. Alright, as you start. My DC is 13. Okay, you begin to conjure vines to which they start making their way over to the guards and try to go wrapping around their feet. The one that really wants to rest you just rips his foot out from underneath and stomps on them, and they cave in and slither back. The other guard, however, gets perfectly ensnared as they wrap around all the way up his legs, and he just can't move an inch. You're gonna unwrap my friend now. No, I'm not. I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> can I? Can I? Use, but uh, what, I'm gonna uh, try, try to charm. Oh, he's gonna just go attack him. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's do that. Let's attack him. Okay, I'm just care. gonna <laughs> pommel him on the back of the head with the dagger. On the head. <laughs> Does he have advantage? Do I have advantage? Because we're flanking. from behind. You're flanking. Okay, I'll give you advantage. <laughs> Yay! Well, <laughs> you go up with your dagger and try to pummel him on the back of the head, and it just goes cling and slides off the side. Immediately, the guard grabs your hand, and oh, okay. pulls you around forward. Now, why would you do that? And she begins to draw. A sword. Didn't really think about it, to be honest. Can I like bear hug him and put his arms to his sides? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask. That you all quietly put down, down your weapons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put down your weapons and surrender, or we will have the full force here. I'm gonna charm them both again. <laughs> well, one's not there. Yeah, you but realize I'm charm them as well. And we are guards here of the city. Yeah, we're committing crimes. I don't want to kill you. We're we don't want to die. We're here on city business. Very official, very important. You have no proof uh, of that. And then your friend I here just went through the gate anyways. Yeah, because we don't need approval from you. We uh, we have shit to do. If you kill us, the city is going to die. Uh, you keep that. saying that, but you have no proof to back While it they're up. talking, I'm going to... Go find Galvin. Go get your proof. Shit, so, uh, fine, but we're keeping you in holding. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to keep all of you in holding until we get this sorted out. Uh, the door. That's not gonna fly, uh, buddy. This is how it's gonna fly. Mm-hmm. So can I charm? Actually, I'm just gonna charm the one. I'm gonna use this first level. The guy who's not tangled up. Okay. You gotta be a twelve. You got a two. <laughs> you got so you got a two. I'm gonna try him. I'm gonna be like, hey guy, like we're just we're trying to save the city. So uh, hey, I I, I think it's lunchtime. So maybe you and your friend should go take uh your lunch break. Tell him to hand over his weapons. Hold on, I'm not done with the four of you yet. Uh, but don't I have seen you somewhere before? Uh, yeah, uh, me, me, and your your dad are really good friends. So <laughs> my father, <laughs> <laughs> he died for two years ago. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. You did talk about uh, some woman, and uh, oh, oh, uh, yes, I think you were over one time for dinner. <laughs> You're a lovely company. Absolutely oh, lovely. Thank you. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Uh, I really enjoyed e- having that that card. You're looking fantastic. We're not done yet with the four of you. Stay where you are. <laughs> I immediately <laughs> talk <laughs> and kick that door down the rest of the way. Okay. Uh, wait, what's that? I'm going to try slinking into like a back alley. <laughs> okay, yeah, simple enough. You kind of slip into an alleyway. Um, Mia Gwen, you kick in that small door, and you see it's like a just a tiny version of one of the bigger houses. Uh, but you see no one in there. I go inside though, because I, I, he's okay. in there with my chest. <laughs> All right, <Your> chest. <laughs> uh, you enter the small home, and uh, you've, there's nothing on the first floor, but the scent keeps going up the stairs to the second floor. Uh, but the second floor looks like is like you might have to crawl into it. 
There's you two you floors on this. there's two floors in this. One is really tight though, really tight. Can I see the chest anywhere? Uh, roll, make a perception for me. Yes. Ethan's going into the house too. Okay. You get in there a lot easier. Can I also enter? Fourteen, but I'm rolling so bad. How many people are going to fit in this house? <laughs> can, you pass like a clown can I just like see into no, the no, second no, no, story no, no, window? One. Yeah, you can roll perception. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Ooh, twenty-one. Um, all right. As you look into the second story, you see Sorry, a small twenty-three. Thank you. You yeah. see a small goblin man. Okay. Who looks? He's just kind of sitting in a chair. And he's looking at the chest. You don't see the chest in the first level. But I see the person? Uh, you see the person in the second level, yes, as you peek up and over. You see a goblin man who's just in a chair with the chest in front of him. Is the chest within arm's reach of me? Can I just, like, break the window and grab the chest? Oh, easily. I do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you hulk your hand through the window and just the glass just goes <laughs> and shatters everywhere. And you grab that chest and you rip it out. You now have the chest, and immediately the goblin goes, Hey! Hey! I grab him. Bless <laughs> ah. his leg, and I drag him out of the house. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, you take him, you drag him through the house, and he's banging his head on the stairs and all over me. his furniture. Wow. Um, Unnecessary, but... You take him, you throw him out. Yeah, Meanwhile, please. the guard is still having a conversation with yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, well, your friends seem to be committing more crimes here. I'm going to have to arrest them. I hope you can understand that. No, I can't. Um, look, you're you're supposed to be on lunch, so you, yeah, you can't. <laughs> That's what you're going with here. Yeah, <laughs> That's supposed That's to be so on lunch. <laughs> yeah, it's your lunch break. You can't uh, you can't arrest people on your lunch. You're off duty, so <laughs> looks up and <laughs> can't see the sun. It's raining. Um, I guess it's my lunch. I, yeah, that's true. I guess I'm on duty. <laughs> All right. Well, um, if you commit any crimes when I'm on duty, I will arrest you. But I'm. We've committed several. <laughs> I'm off duty. I don't want to. I don't worry about this right now. But, uh, would you like to go for dinner? <laughs> Ooh. 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 Um, Even though it's not your dad's yeah. girlfriend. Yeah. What? No. 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 I just said I was friends with his dad. Oh, okay. right. Yeah, no. I'm just. Home wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, the uh, other guard is still entangled. And the vines have covered the mouth, so we cannot speak. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna say, yes, uh, sure. Why don't you uh, take the rest of the afternoon off, and I'll meet you at the local pub in uh, in three hours. What? That's what? I, no, longer. Seven. <laughs> seven. Yeah, sorry. In us in seven uh, hours. I need time to get hours. ready. Um, well, uh, I get off anyways by that point. So. Uh. Well, I don't need to take, take your any time. time. I don't need to take any time off. Well, no, you should take your time. <laughs> Enjoy your afternoon. I, I mean, I have worked pretty hard lately. I, yeah, you have. It really shows. It's kind of boring just standing at that gate all the time. Yeah, see, we're making your life really exciting. Honestly, I, I really appreciate everything you do for the city. You're a good guy. As you're holding a fucking yeah. golf. Yeah, <laughs> one leg, like, up in the air. Don't worry, we'll take care of this. If I was on duty... I would arrest you and that goblin. Oh, I would also arrest this goblin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he but stole a bunch of shit from us. I'm not on duty, so you all do whatever. If you're still here. I will arrest you. Simple as that. Fine, we're just gonna rob him. I have I have lunch to eat. All right. Ooh, See you later. What's for enjoy lunch? enjoy whatever you're doing. I saw the vista. And he just kind of walks off, all, right. all lazy like. <laughs> the other man is still entrapped in your vines. Knock him out. You just go. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> use the goblin to knock. Improvised <laughs> 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 weapon. <laughs> All right, uh, as you take the goblin and you go to whip the guard in the back side of the head, he, the goblin just goes hey, <laughs> <laughs> and you just go bam. Uh, the guard immediately just slunks over, but the vines kind of hold him up. I'll relinquish the vines. Uh, he just yeah, goes and good. slams nice. onto the ground. And the goblin goes hey. Uh, I'm holding the goblin. I say, "Someone should probably tie that guy up." Mm-hmm. Uh, I got this one. And I pick him up. Where's the chest? <laughs> what the hell, <laughs> Eve? <clears throat> give me my chest. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You have the chest. 
You mean my chest. <laughs> 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 oh, I find that arm <laughs> down. Hold up. <laughs> you have it! Where is it? Can I open the chest? Is it locked? <laughs> it is locked. Okay, can I use my thieves tools to unlock it? You Maybe can. it's magically unlocked. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out where the chest is. That? Natural one. Uh, yeah, the... Zanzian has it. Oh! He, he, just, re- he just punched I... through the window and grabbed it. Yeah. I didn't see him grab it, though, because I didn't see the chest. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, so I'm shaking um, him, like standing like a few feet away from Zanzi, and I'm shaking him. Like, where's the chest, Goblin? Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell me where the chest is. Drop me. No, <laughs> no. where's the chest? I will eat your feet. I'll kill you. Where's the chest? I will cut your feet. I'll you. I'll cut your feet. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bite you. <laughs> I bite him. <laughs> and he tries biting you back, like right on your mouth as you're trying to bite him. Okay. Uh, I. I. Uh, and you notice his teeth are. Much more jagged and sharp. Uh, I, I, I go, ah! <laughs> and I smash his head down. <laughs> no, no. I say, where is it? <laughs> you, uh, hold dude, on. Dude, don't hurt the goblin, man. <laughs> I don't ask him why he's I don't do it hard enough to do. kill him. Uh, I just, like, I want to crack You him kill him. him. No, I don't. You I didn't s- do it hard enough to kill him. slapped his head on the ground. I gave him a bonk. Yeah, and he got a nat one on his con save. I didn't do it. Sorry, what I meant to say was, I didn't know on lethal damage. Ah, I, I meant to just like he bit me, so I like smacking him, but I hold his arm, so I just hit his head on the ground. I meant to do non-lethal damage. It's my bad. I should have specified. See. This episode is brought to you by Skip the Dishes. <laughs> Please sponsor, Please sponsor just us. Everybody knows Brewhouse has a promotion going on right now, where any order you get from Skip the Dishes comes with a free order of pierogies. <laughs> and we any like pierogies. The Twenty dollars. Free shipping and handling. So use the code at checkout, NAT20, to get absolutely nothing. But, <laughs> but maybe it would work one day. So realistically, if you just try using it from now to the end of time, it may eventually work. Okay, so um, you're currently, you, you bumped his head. You bumped the goblin's head. Yes, non-lethally. <clears throat> non-lethally. All right, well, he's unconscious. Cool. That's fine with me. You knocked him unconscious. He got a nat one. On I am frustrated combo. though because I'm still looking for the chest. <laughs> Has anyone seen the chest? I'm I'll turn around. Holding ask, it right now. I, I I'll turn around and I'll be like, "Sandy, have you?" Oh, <laughs> and I just kind of throw the goblin aside. Well, it's probably just a goblin. Uh, uh, three and a half feet. Okay. It's a short What's guy. in it? It's taller than me. <laughs> probably some guts and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> oh, did you open it up? Did you open it up? No, I haven't opened it yet. No. I was doing my care. Sorry. Can you try? You Who doesn't know what's going one. on? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah, do you need help? I can help. No, I got it. Can I try and open it again? I help. You can. <laughs> <laughs> With advantage. Because you're being helped. Okay. Ooh, that's better. 17. 17. Yeah, Six. this time using your thieves tools again. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this time you managed to pick the lock. Oh. 30 20 because I have proficiency. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you pick the lock, you hear satisfying click as the iron lock just swings out of the hoop and falls to the ground. You hear a clang. Awesome. <clears throat> I open it up. You open up the chest and it's a lot of gold pieces. A lot of gold. So it's right. just a chest full of gold. Just gold. Just gold. There's nothing else in the chest. You just see gold. <laughs> Can I count it all individually? <laughs> no. Uh, Take you a while, but you could. How big is this chest? Uh, it's not. It's one of those. It's about the size of one of those stones that okay, you removed okay, earlier. Okay, 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 yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So. Roger, roger. Like, go like cool. uh, 30 centimeters by like 20 centimeters. That's a decent size. It's a big stone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah uh, I'll, okay, uh, me and one will approach and then look in and be like, ooh, is it good? so pretty it's gold yeah how much is in it how much is in it i don't know uh let's just wait till we're not out in the open to count it okay should we take the goblin with us no whatever just kill him it's fine <laughs> okay <laughs> i'll go up and i uh i grab the goblin and i, I shake him awake actually wait i want to ask him some questions first oh okay <laughs> i was gonna wake him up then. yeah uh, i'll wake him up i'll slap his face cool. a few times get up hey hey <laughs> <laughs> how'd you know where to find this chest on my chest. <laughs> no, no it's not, not anymore. It's Give not. me my chest. <laughs> I'll bite Tell you. us. Go, go ahead and try it. I'll bite you. Okay. Go ahead and try it. He's going to try and run and 
to go bite uh, like Danzian. <laughs> uh, make a strength check. Watch this marathon. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's a level 20 goblin. Yeah. Well, what are the odds? Uh, 14. Shit. You're holding them easily. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm like, uh, you're not going anywhere, little guy. That's, ah. not, that's not your chest anymore. Ah, it's my chest. No, it's not. It's How ours. did you know where to find it? Ah. Tell him or I'll break your arm. I'll bite you. I punch him in the face. Boat. I found it on the boat. You found what on the boat? Ah, the way to find the chest. The map. The map. You were on, the, on boat. the boat. You were on the boat when they killed everybody. Maybe. You were one of the... I'll bite you. <laughs> were you the one who killed the captain? No. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> what captain? No, he's not the one, because remember they yeah, admitted to it. One of the other guys. Don't worry, Zanzi. He's innocent. <clears throat> what captain? Are you stupid? Give me, clearly, my, give me my chance! Clearly this chest. goblin is a simpleton. Yeah, alright, whatever. Uh, Forget it. We should empty his chest and then just give him back the chest. I know, that's what I was going to do. He bites you in the arm. Like, that's real hard. Like gold. It's like Ow! You got fuck? a nat 20. Like what? You're forced <laughs> to release him. Okay. What? Yeah. Wait, what? Uh, he bit him right <laughs> on the forearm. Can I retaliate? Really? Okay. I close uh, up the chest. He's rushing now towards you, Zanzian. Okay. Can, I give him, can I give him a kick? I have a can question. I, just... I, I have a question. Can glaives be thrown? Yeah. I throw my glaive at him. Oh my god. We're going to kill this poor goblin. Which hand? Uh, which hand did he bite? He bit your right hand. You sick fuck. <laughs> Alright, yeah. I'll throw with my left hand. <laughs> Alright, uh, roll the hit. Are you left handed? <laughs> I'm ambidextrous. <laughs> As of now. <clears throat> Uh, so that's proficiency, 14 plus strength, 17. 17. Yeah, you nail him. What are you aiming for? Just the back of his right knee. Back of his Oof. right knee. Okay. I want to see his kneecap explode. Oh, uh, my God. All right, dude. you toss a glaive with a lot of force straight at the back of his right knee, and you just see it push straight through. Uh, he crumples over immediately, and, yeah, you just see bits of his knee are kind of hanging off the... Edge of the blade. Okay, I'm gonna walk ah, up. I'm gonna totally put my. Necessary. I'm gonna put my foot on the back of his head and then yank the glaive out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and as you do so, he just lets out a huge scream. And I'll step off of him afterwards, ah. and then uh, pick him up again <laughs> by the back of the shirt. Oh, I thought you were gonna say by his foot. <laughs> no. <what the> fuck? <laughs> All right. No. Uh, yeah, you pick him up again. And he's bleeding out. Not I can make well. you better, but you have to be my friend. Okay. <laughs> Be my friend. You want to be my friend? No. <laughs> no, yeah. but he fix me. Only Help if you me. promise to be my friend. Fine. I could try. All right. Fine. <laughs> I lay on hands his knee. All right. I'll uh, give him the ten. Ten points. He's going to run away. Well, I'm still holding on to him. Uh, he watches his knee kind of reshapes and gets placed back together. Uh, what yeah. material is missing is uh, conjured and regrown in the right correct spot. You just hear some clicks. From the bones. I'm gonna bite you. You're gonna be my friend or I'll fucking break it again. Fine, put me down. Uh, only if you promise not to run away. I won't run away. Promise. I Sorry. promise. Pinky promise? Pinky, what? I hold it with the one hand and the other hand. I say, Pinky promise. Okay. Put, <laughs> put your pinky on my pinky and then we'll sort of hug him. Alright. And he reaches his hand out, and we don't actually have to do it, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's a binding contract. If you if you go back on your word, uh, not only will I smash your kneecaps in, but Malar, the god of the hunt, will punish you for all eternity. Okay. <laughs> all right. And, uh, I Give me my him, chest. No. no, listen, we're friends now, which means it's our chest. And I set him down. And remember, oh, yeah, don't run works. away. No, it's my chest. You can have the chest. Why did you break the stone? I just moved out of the way. Not you, know. Oh, the goblin. So yeah. I remember where it came from. Remember which stone. But why? So I would know where to look in case there was more treasure. Okay. Give me my chest. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it afterwards, okay? <sighs> I'm gonna punch him in the face. No, you're not! <laughs> I defend him with my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Are you going to do that? Uh, you going to whale one? So, roll the hit. Um, Sora, we're friends. Sora, Sora, wait, don't hurt my friend. Uh, we're friends maybe now. Maybe not punch him, but maybe I'll give him like a light backhand, kind of like, because he's just being annoying. I'm okay. asking for his chest. Uh, it's, yeah. like, it's like a, like, like, you know, like snap out of it. You, I, you easy, fool. Yeah, easily enough, you slap him in the side of the face. Ah! Stop! Why? I'll bite you. We're not giving you <laughs> our chest. <laughs> it's my chest. No, give me mine. Get, I, get down, here. I, I get down on my knees and I like Can stroke I? his head. Like shh, 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 shh. That chest belongs to Zanzian's friend. You, don't this be is mad. This sounds stupid, but roll animal handling. What? <laughs> I have proficiency, so that's dope. Uh, twenty six. You calm him down. Epic. Ah. <laughs> there you go. There you I go. Can't it's okay. That it's okay. Happened. It's okay. The chest belongs to Zanzi, and I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sleep. All right. <laughs> and I, I put him in my backpack. <laughs> what? <laughs> I put him in my backpack. You can sleep in there. You can see his face looks visibly stunned and like in disgust. He's, <laughs> why? <laughs> Because we need to take you with us. I, no. Why? Because he's mine now. Why are we <laughs> taking him? God. I tamed him. I rolled the No, I want, I want to go home. <laughs> Let him go home. <laughs> no, he's mine. I'll flip him a gold piece. <laughs> and be like, send him on his way. Uh, at this point, you all feel the ground beneath you and the buildings tremble and shake. And uh, it's very intense rumbling going on. Uh, you notice that anything that isn't tightly secured is being knocked down or uh, broken. <laughs> and then it stops. Just grab the chest, leave the goblin. <laughs> yeah. We have more and more matters to get to. <laughs> oh, fine! And I, I put the goblin down and I say, I'll see you later. I'll bite you. Hey, whoa! <laughs> And uh, yeah, he just runs back into his home and he, the door is not really working anymore. So he just kind of slams it and it, Goes through the doorway, <laughs> <laughs> and you watch him kind of pitter patter back upstairs. Oh, that's and you can sad. see through the window that he's just back in his chair, but without the chest. Uh, <laughs> Maybe we should leave him a couple gold pieces for his trouble. All right, I'll give him a couple, I, even though he just stole them from me. I'll throw them through his throw window. Throw them through the window. <laughs> <laughs> Put a new window, the one that hasn't been oh, broken yet. Oh my god, no! I'll just leave it for <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm chaotic evil. Yeah, yeah let's do it. I want to do it. Make a new window. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just put it through the side of the house. Yeah, can I do that? <laughs> or you can roll strength and find oh, out. Fuck yes, I can. So you holding your hand. That's no. uh, that's a twenty-three. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, you make a new hole. Oh you yeah. Make a new window. All right. You take your, you just give him a good old right hook into his house and. Fuck yeah. So and then he just drops some chain and goes. <laughs> yep. And then I just open my hand and let like I don't know a handful is what ten maybe gold pieces drop out. Yeah, he, he watches. He quickly runs and scatters and puts it in a pile and carries it back to his chair. And then he tries to rebuild the hole you made. Yeah. But Give him work. a thumbs up and then take my hand out. And walk away. <laughs> you see him like trying to put the splinters of wood kind of back up, but he's leaning it against the hole. This is the most pathetic guy. Uh, once more, you guys feel the tremble of the ground shake. All right, I think we gotta go. The city's gonna fall. We're gonna die. Oh, we have to find Gavin. Yeah, let's go yeah. find Gavin. And I get back on my uh, Xanathar. What happened to that other guard that was here that we tied up? Knocked him unconscious. He's, oh, he's, unconscious. Yeah. he's just on the ground. <laughs> the other one was waiting to go on a date with me. That I <laughs> yeah. We might as well just you leave shouldn't him on stand the people up, Tony. I'll <laughs> drag the, uh, the guard back with me towards the gate. Okay. So do you all head back towards the gate then? Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. Is the other guard there? Uh, I'll tell you in a second. Oh. <laughs> uh, so as you guys walk, uh, make your way back, and you approach the gate, yeah, the guard isn't there anymore. Uh, but there is the traffic seems to have gone a little heavier. Uh, the flow of people, they're still very poor, wretched looking. Um, there's a lot of n kind of just blaring noise that's drowning out uh, anything that's quiet sounding, so your footsteps and stuff just aren't heard. Unless you, you'd have to shout to make anyone hear you. Uh, and you take the guard and you're dragging him. What do you do with that? 
guard. So once we all leave the, uh, the area, I'll close the gates and I'll just kind of prop them against like, the wall or something next to the gate. Okay. Make it uh, look like he's sleeping. Nifen, do you have a, an empty bottle? Uh, <laughs> I can't hear <laughs> <second. laughs> He doesn't just pack... Oh, uncorks one and just drinks it. He grabs the blood. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, yeah, so at, at first he th- he's not looking at which one he grabs, so he does grab the one with the, the blood and he takes a drink. <laughs> and then oh, immediately he's like, oh. shit, and like sp- <laughs> spews it all out. <laughs> and then he puts it back in his backpack and takes a different bottle and drinks that. Okay, uh, yeah, can I have that out now that's empty? Sure. Alright, yeah, let's see. And I walk over uh, to the guard. Uh, and I like, clasp it in his like unconscious hand, you and then, like I just pour a bit on his face, and then I just like uh, take like just some cloth from like my cloak, and I put it on his head like a hat. I'm like, there now everyone will think he was drunk. <laughs> Does he have anything in his pockets? Roll Does he have pockets? <laughs> <laughs> he has pouches. Oh, that's a twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you. Pick up a couple of rubies, actually. Hot diggity dog. Nice. Oh, two rubies. Cool. Yeah. That's when Zanzian comes says, Oh, sorry, those were my captain's rubies. Yeah, I want you to give those back to me. <laughs> nice. I stab you in the back and take your money. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just. I'm Ooh, gonna, those are I'll pretty. take those rubies. Those are pretty, Sora. Thanks. Does he have more stuff in there? I don't know. Can uh, I see? No. Okay. No. You cleaned them out. It's like a palinka machine. <laughs> Can I go find someone to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time for things like sex. We Whatever. have to find Gavin and say, "Yeah, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons." <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. I uh, I get back up on Zamfar again, and I say, "Let's find a Gavin." Okay, whatever. Maybe Gavin will fuck me. <laughs> you, you don't really have very high standards, do you? Mouth is a mouth, man. <laughs> <laughs> me, when it's uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, so you guys go to find Gavin? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, you tell us where to meet him. I don't think he said anything, no. All right, so you guys make your way, your travels. Uh, you figured he'd be in the second level of the city. Um, from there, you probably think if you ask a couple of people that they could tell you where specifically he'd be located on the upper level. Um, um, who do we see around that we can ask? So, as you approach the second level, uh, you are greeted to... The place looks visibly a lot nicer. The stonework is more marble than actual just straight stone. Uh the roofs are, have like a gold cast on them, or uh, any fabric seems to be of the velvet feel. Uh, and they're always bright, vibrant colors. Who's the most interesting person we can ask about where Gavin is? Uh, roll perception. Natural 20, baby. Nice, dude. 14. You, <laughs> see, you see a few people. Uh, you see a Rakshasa. Who is in very fine royal clothing. He's got uh, the long red velvet cape with uh, like leopard print trim around it. Um, he's got a breastplate on that uh, suits him quite well. Uh, the house has like makeshift abs imprinted on it. That's hot. <laughs> I instantly like him. Uh, <laughs> sleeveless. He's just showing his big bulging tiger arms. Is this alien? Is this Tony the Tiger? <laughs> Uh, Those <laughs> muscles are great! He's uh, wearing long uh, black boots, and he's just kind of leaning against uh, the wall in the garden area. Yo, I'm going to go talk to that guy immediately. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah. There's still a couple other people. I don't care. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the best part is he can be whatever I want him to be. Nice. In, an alleyway, <laughs> in an alleyway, you also see another goblin. Yeah. Oh. He's going to split up the taco with people. A black robe with a hood up. And he's watching you guys. He sees you and he's looking at you and he's just it's watching you. The same goblin. No. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Give me my chest. And, um. Hey. Where am I crack? Then you see. <laughs> Where am I heroin? You got <laughs> things. Yeah, you see a horse in a bookshop. Who's <laughs> Who behind it? the counter? What book is. It? Oh, is it reading a book? No, he okay. looks like he's dealing with a customer. Nice. Do you have like Who fans where he's talking with his hands? 
Yo. May, may, may. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, so you see those interesting you, folks in this city. Do you have this book? Nay. So you don't. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> this town is all kinds of messed up, you guys. Who should we talk to? Kevin. I've already, Steve, I've already Steve, left you to talk Tiger to Man Tiger. or the <laughs> Goblin or All the right. book. Chicks dig Rakshasa. Oh, guys, I, uh, me and Gwyn, would like to sleep with the Rakshasa. <laughs> <laughs> As you approach the Rakshasa. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I left while you were talking. I went to <laughs> <laughs> He just leans there, has his head down, uh, arms are crossed, and when you get close enough, he looks up at you. Can I help you? You can do yes, anything you, you want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I said, yes, hi. Uh, I'm looking for a fellow named Gavin. Would you possibly know where he is? Meow. Well. Meow <laughs> 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 makes a really bad like growl sound. You <laughs> mean the arcane artist, uh... Yeah. Gavin Whittingham. <laughs> That's the fellow. Meow. Okay. <laughs> yes, I know where he is. You'll find him up in the shop district. I believe he's uh, in one of the potion shops. If I remember correctly. Uh, would he be there approximately around 11 at night? Why specifically that time? I'm just wondering... Meow. <laughs> Where are you going to be at 11? <laughs> That's what I was going to say! <laughs> oh, sorry, man. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to escort you there? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it would be my pleasure. Okay. Uh, suddenly you see a naked dwarf <laughs> walking up to the Rakshasa and you guys. And goes, hey! <laughs> Touch. I punch the odor on <laughs> my face. Hey, uh, rock hard abs like this cat, then maybe we'll talk. <laughs> As you do so, yeah, he flops over and he lands in the dirt of a uh, piece of the garden. Uh, you see as the rock, she still looks over. Meow. <laughs> One moment, let me go deal with this naked dwarf. <laughs> Is this a gay cat? I'm and uh, he goes over to the dwarf and he watches, he just takes his... Um, Paw up, and he takes out his claws, and he just, boom, slams it right on the dwarf's face, and then glides it down. This sexy. <laughs> and then pulls it out, and you see that the dwarf is visibly dead now. Big one goes up to the, the rock. How far did he pull his hand all the way down? <laughs> <laughs> Only about to the neck. Okay. Yeah. Big one says, will you sleep with me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me, no. You could persuade him. Yeah. Yo, that was ruthless. That was, that was mean. No. At this point, the rock just starts making his way back to you guys. That better be the episode title. Yes! Oh. <laughs> what is that? Yes! 20. Natural 20. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Me, yes! Me, yo. Now, what do you say after to persuade him? Oh, uh, yeah, just me, yes. Later, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna say me, wow. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> All right, now I'm very sorry about Or that. you could sleep with me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you have a fucking threesome. <laughs> Look. Do you want me to escort you to your friend or not? I would rather you do other things. Don't worry about the dwarf. He was a nuisance. Yeah, what was up with that, by the way, that just happened here? Hey, that right. little murder in broad daylight. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk this is a naked dwarf? <laughs> Dutch. I'm sorry, but that's for confidential ears only. Like. This kind of happens every now and then. I'm so <laughs> curious. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you cannot know. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll ask Gavin about it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, shall we? Well, before first, we go, I would first let's go talk to this mysterious goblin. Yeah, this All right, right. I'm going to talk to the horse. Right. Yeah, I go to the bookshop, <laughs> talk to the horse. I take the Rakshas out by his hand and I leave with me. Come on, let's talk to the goblin. Yeah. <laughs> He kind of puts his other paw over your hand. 
later. <laughs> uh, for now, I'll be in the garden if you need anything. Do a mm? <laughs> okay, I, I managed to resist the urge to paint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so wait, who do you talk to next then? Uh, I'm going to talk to the goblin. Yeah, I'm going to the goblin. I'm going to go talk to the goblin. I go to the horse. The horse? Horse looks pretty. Do we even know this guy's name? Is well, <laughs> the first thing you're going to say, why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is now. All right. Uh, <laughs> then we will go for uh, Mifand. Um, but if he's like a normal person, that's just going to come off very racist. I mean, he's not a normal person. But if he's like a talking horse. We're going to go with Mifan, Sora, and uh, Mia Gwen first. I'm a talking donkey. Where you guys go approach the goblin. So who would like to approach the goblin first? Uh, I guess I, I will. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he just stares at you. And as you approach, he kind of looks slightly down. Because he's a little taller than you. And yeah, he just stares at you with like his amber beady eyes. I just say to him, what you staring at, bud? <laughs> <laughs> I believe you killed a couple of people of mine. Well, who would that be? Let's see, uh, pirates. Yes. Yes, we did. And you killed them. You did kill them. Okay. Mm, see, I made a pact with them. Oh. And you've ruined this pact by killing them. Now. <sighs> Technically, I killed them. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we all killed them. <laughs> You're not there, actually. Never mind. Um, Never mind. Actually, I guess you would have I, seen him before. You you do recognize this as the liaison. Ooh. Yeah. Um, before he has another moment to talk, I'm going to kick him in the chest. This guy's going to kill us. Roll the head. Okay. Me when throws her arms up. It's Nam all over again. <laughs> it's Nam all over again. Oh, three and then strength. Yeah. Uh, it's an eight. An eight. You go to kick him and he just ducks lower. <laughs> and goes, ha, ah, you tried but you failed. My turn! Thanks, Dad. <laughs> like, uh, I'm going to take my try and just hit him with like, the flat end. Like, the, you know, the, there's like the three prongs and there's the pointy end, but then, yeah, not the pointy end. Just like, All right. Roll the hit. <sighs> Plus eight. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, you go and you go to bonk him down. He just dodges to the side. Hey, you tried again. You <laughs> failed again. Fuck this now, guy. <laughs> why? Stop. Don't hit me with any more things. Look. I made a pact. You killed the people. You are now in my pact. It yes? seems like that's your problem. No. <laughs> why? What's your pact? Uh, that sounds like an issue. That depends on <laughs> the price me. for your pact, little man. I think we've spoken enough. What? No, we haven't. It's time for me to leave. I will see you at some point. Can I try and grab him? Uh, you can. Before you leave. Like, just like hug him. Yeah. What would I do for grappling? Is that strength? You just roll a hit. Oh, okay. 13. No, he just gets out of your reach. And you watch, he starts scurrying down the alleyway. Going, <laughs> I'm going to chase after him. I okay. Yeah. What do you What do you want to do to uh, I'm gonna, catch him? Uh, we'll go with uh, you first, Nifand. Uh, I mean, I could probably catch him. I, would I can probably use hold person. I can run down with my axe too. <laughs> can I just try yeah. to run and tackle him? Yeah, you can. Uh, what's your speed? Twenty five. Five. Okay. Uh, you're. He's actually getting away from you. Okay. Can, sprint. I, can I cast hold person? You can. And can I do it? Um, in a very uh, amazing mm. and a sexual way, so that I could. Im- <laughs> so I, could <laughs> so I, I can impress this. Uh, Rock 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 yeah. Yeah, you can. Uh, roll I performance. <laughs> amazing. This is exactly where I want to be. To see your flare. Oh, that's a six. <laughs> no, no. No. And uh, what does he have to beat for the whole person? Oh. Um, I believe it's... it's yeah. yeah, it's, it's 12. Insane, insane, it's, yeah. So it's my 12, yeah. Uh, yeah, you successfully cast whole person as nice. you reach your hand out, no, except this time you try to flare it up and you just go, ha, as you like kind of push <laughs> out your chest and flail your arms outwards. <laughs> Uh, very girly. 
Um, but you also, when you do that, you smack Nefand in <laughs> you not, um, who's all here? Mia Gwen. You smack Mia Gwen right in the That's face. That's fine. Ah, oh, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna tear our friendship apart. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, uh, and I say, help. and I turn to the Rakshasa and I say, there's more where that came from. <laughs> Me, meow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know nothing about this guy. But I, I let him take me away. <laughs> so you have the guy with cotton whole person, and currently he's trying to like squirm and squirm and squirm, trying to get out of it. No, no, it's not how it's supposed to go. No, no, no. <laughs> Can I walk up and then like, oh, but but say that uh, I was say gonna that. say I tried and I succeeded as I hit him across the face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tried and I'm gonna succeed. At this Lock point, him. he can't move, so you successfully wail him in the side of the head. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then to prevent him from running away, I'm gonna stab the trident down so the two prongs like lock over his leg, oh. so he can't get up. Okay. And as you do that, he's trying. He immediately grabs your trident. And he's trying to pull it up, but he just can't wiggle it out. Too yeah. small, little guy. Why? And I look over the Rakshasa like, <laughs> you're not too small. And then yeah. the Rakshasa <laughs> takes his hand, just puts it up, and starts stroking his chin. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you're nothing, but you can see oh, he yeah. looks pleased. <laughs> this is like a reading system. <laughs> yeah. Um. Before we can do that, we're going to switch over to Anos and Zanzian. Uh, as you enter the bookstore, which is which is called the Dazzling Horse, nice. Uh, you are greeted to the lovely smell of like fresh paper. Yeah. I thought you were going to say like manure. Nope. You agree to fresh paper. It smells very clean. It looks very clean as well. The books are neatly placed in their shelves. Um, it doesn't look like there's a spot on the ground or on the countertop. And you just see that the horse is finishing up with a human custom. He's going, well, Monet, have a good day. And tomorrow, we'll see you again. <laughs> Yo, what is this oh my god. Like? Uh, it just, uh, he looks like a more of a, just a general noble human. He's got short black hair, wearing some decent clothing, uh, okay. a velvet type. And he just looks like he's buying a couple of books. And he walks past you guys, gives you a nod. Subtle nod back. No. I um, him in the ass as he walks past. <laughs> <laughs> you can. And as you do, he goes, oh. <laughs> and he keeps, he kind of hurls up a little faster out the door. Oh. Rubs his butt cheek. Okay. <laughs> so wow. fun, a little flirty, flirty. <laughs> cool. All right, I'm gonna walk up to this horse. And be like, what are you? I'm the bookkeeper, keeper of the books. So is he like a horse standing on his two hind legs, like? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, his hoofs are currently on the counter. He's kind of got his. Uh, or his elbows are on the counter. His hooves are kind of put put together. Is he dazzling? Pretty dazzling. Well, he's naked. He's not actually wearing anything, but he's a uh, brown fur, silk brown fur. Uh, Is it racist to call brown. your library the dazzling horse when you're a horse? No, no. no. Call well, whatever you want. That's good. What uh, can I do for you, well, or can I do for you nothing? Well, well, to be honest, I just we were just walking by, and I looked inside, and I saw this talking horse. I was like, I have to see what the hell is going on here. <laughs> Ah, see, that is the finest attraction of the attraction is finest. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> All right. And you look as he looks confused for a minute. Sorry. One moment. And he just goes under the counter. He pulls up a book and it says, How to Speak Common. <laughs> and he's flipping it open. And he's going, I apologize. I meant this is a fine attraction. Uh. Nothing uh, but the finest. It's a common problem. Hey, this is gonna sound weird. Nay. But bear with me. Do you speak under common? <laughs> or can you read under common? Nay. Maybe. I, I'm gonna pull out the note that I got from the ship and just be like, can you read this for me? Because I cannot read it. He watches, he takes his hooves and goes under the counter and he has them clapped together. He pulls up a pair of monocles. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of like slides one over one eye, slides one over the other. And then crouches down and, like, goes to pick up the note very carefully, sliding his hooves under it. 
brings it up to his face, puts it over one side of his face so when I can read it. <laughs> mm, interesting. I don't get this kind of stuff in my shop. Hmm. Yes, yeah, see, you have a note here in Undercommon. Uh, I can't read Undercommon, actually. <laughs> I just found that out. Oh, God. Thank you for nothing. But, but hold on, I might I might have something. Um, so the book that says how to write, how to speak Undercommon? Uh, give me a minute, and he kind of walks out around the counter, and he goes upstairs to the second level. He knows as right. he does so, he starts dropping poop. Oh, nice. <laughs> as he does so. Nice. And um, you hear a bit of rustling, and then about a couple of minutes later, he comes back down the steps, stepping just right on and over the poop, smushing it into the, f- the floorboards, gets back down. He slams a, a big book. This book is thick. Uh, at least got to be like 600 pages. Wow. And he just slams it down on the countertop, and it reads, How to Read Undercommon. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I knew it. <laughs> um, if you leave this with me for, say, um, a couple of days ish, I could definitely decipher this note for you. But it'll cost you some gold. Or hay. <laughs> uh, no, that's okay. Thanks for the offer, though. You're I very just found welcome. someone who can already speak it. Ooh, well, okay, all right. No offense. No, none taken. It's just I'm a horse, right? What do I know? No, I didn't say that at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this horse apparently isn't good enough for everyone. You remind me of my psycho ex-girlfriend. <laughs> um, what's your name? Uh, hold on. One moment. Ooh, Charles McKinnon. Charles McKinnon. Yes. Nice to meet you. And I hold up my hand to shake his... Uh, Goodbye. I, wait. Hold on. He looks at the book. Hello. Are you going to correct him? No. <laughs> now, would you like to buy anything or have any further business? Uh, no, to be honest, my curiosity is entirely satisfied. Oh, uh, and... I don't know if you've known, but be careful of some of the people you meet here. They're a little strange. Actually, you know, I do have a question. I literally (laughs) just saw a naked dwarf run through the street and then get brutally murdered, and nobody batted an eye. You know, I've been wondering that myself. That is the fifth time I've seen a (laughs) naked dwarf running through the streets. And each time, that little beast over there, that filthy, disgusting beast, look at it in its stupid claws and its shaggy fur, kills it every time. Where did they come from? I have no idea. Every time I try to find the source, he stops me and he says, hey, it's confidential ears only. And I say, hey, I'm, it's because I'm a horse. Don't get so hung up with the horse thing, man. Just do you. You do you. I like you. Thanks. I like you You're too. You're good to the horse people. <laughs> well, you know, Poseidon is the father of horses, you know, a pirate. <laughs> sea god, anyway. And uh, <laughs> um, once again, there's another tremble. Everyone feels it. Some of the books fall off the shelves. Uh, the goblin, he has whole person cast on him, so he's just kind of in place while everything else is shivering and shifting. And then it stops. <sighs> do you know what that was? I do believe that's the uh, magical infrastructure of the city falling apart so that we could plummet and die at any second. Comforting. But I'm just a pirate, what do I know? I'm not a smart pirate, horse. A pirate, like a pirate. What does pirate mean? Hold on. And he sailor. Goes flipping I'm through. A sailor. Sailor. What does that mean? <laughs> he goes flipping through the pages so what? Sailor. Um, ocean. It's a dark city. Oh, what does ocean way. mean? Damn it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> as much as he keeps just flipping through yeah. the book each time he finds a new word, he seems to be in a loop. <laughs> oh my god, this poor guy. Well, this meeting seems to have been insightful and entertaining. At the <laughs> uh, but I have other matters to attend to. And I'll head outside to go meet the liaison. Cool. All right, well, uh, season's <laughs> greetings. <laughs> 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 Do you leave as well as Anzia? Yeah, I'll take off. Okay. Yeah.
Thanks for your help. Nice to meet you. And you guys go to the Hello. 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 Okay, yeah, you all have now rejoined with the goblin, currently being held um, with the trident, held down with the trident and have whole person cast on him. Are we torturing this guy? <laughs> I don't know. We're We're not, as, not as of right now. Uh, uh, yeah. Hi! Hey, guys, uh, we caught the, the goblin, and uh, uh, he says he's the one who made, like, the pact. So, no. Oh. Yeah, he did. Okay. He did no. say that. I whip out my dagger and I push it into his neck. Ah, ah. Like, what pact? Hold on. Also, let, ah. let me have a word. Also, <laughs> too late. I've already kind of got my trident. You've already cast a spell on him. And he's got a dagger and a no, no. Oh, hold on. Also, meet my new boyfriend. That's what point at the rocks just saw that she's still away in the garden. Hey, what's his name? Uh, that's, <laughs> that's not important. That's What's important is his rock hard abs. Man, you guys have no idea what a healthy relationship looks like. Says so you. You don't know anything about my past. You can start crying. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're an asshole. Stupid bitch. <laughs> hey, what? Did you say that? No. Oh, I'd say it really quietly under my breath. Oh, you do? Do I hear him? Oh, what's your passive perception? 18. Mine's 19. You don't hear. It doesn't make you stealthier. <laughs> what? It, it's it whispering. Fine, I don't yeah, hear. No, you don't hear. Him. But you would have started something. Passive you so high. <laughs> well, you would have heard him say something, but you don't know what. Perception, and I'm okay. proficient. Plus a whole bunch of other proficiencies. All right, whatever. The point is that uh, Miguel is, is still holding her, her, her trident, and she looks down at the goblin. She says, you know, if I wanted, I could just twist this really hard and your little leg would snap with it. Yeah, no, 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 no look, I, no. I have, I, I mean, I, I have, I have yeah, connections, yeah, yeah, I have connections. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I have things, yeah, 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 yeah. I have people I can talk to, yeah, I can yeah, get yeah. you Tell some. me about the pack. Ah, yeah, nothing really. Um, I just want to steal their gold. They, they said that, uh, well, they one of them mistaken me for some sort of demon thing. <laughs> And so I was like, well, I could utilize this to my advantage. So I persuaded and deceived them into giving me their gold in exchange. I just found Fairmite. And... So you're not a demon? There's no actual pact over us? You were just lying? No, my name's Becky. I like this guy. <laughs> I take the try and I'll be like, so you're as useless as everybody else we've encountered so far. <laughs> well, not exactly. See, I know people. That's my gift. I also know people. Yeah. I know Nathan. I know Sora. I know Zantian. But I know and people. I know... You don't know me. <laughs> I don't know this guy, but... <laughs> but I know people and I know my get you things. And I know my boyfriend, that over there. <laughs> uh, he just kind of looks over at you and gives you a wink. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, what should we do with this guy? He's no trouble to us. Would you want things? I can get you things. <clears throat> I know people. Do you speak undercover? Like what? Fluently. Is he being honest? No. I'm going to insight that. Uh, uh, oh my. Where did you find this note? Doesn't matter. You found it in the captain's quarters, right? Doesn't matter. Oh, there's some ship. <laughs> Fine, I won't, I won't pry too much. I just, it says in here that there's captain, so I assumed. Um, Read it out loud. Looks like your captain's not totally dead. Read it out loud. If it loud. is your captain. What does it say exactly? It's not for your ears, it's for his. Okay. Read it out loud! Well, <laughs> Alright. Uh, look, it says here that, uh, yeah, they took his body, but they trapped his soul. Uh, it seems to be they used some sort of uh, stone, some stone he had in his uh, quarters. He put some necromantic magic on it. <laughs> Oh no! Anyways, he seems to be in this stone. So if you know where the stone is, bada bing, I know a guy who could fix it for you. Okay, what? Does it say what stone or does it say any stone? A stone? Uh, it says, uh, dark, dark red opaque stone. Okay, alright, alright, alright. What would happen um, if you took said, hypothetically, took said dark red stone and touched it to a different stone? <laughs> Well, it depends what the other stone is. So, pick blue stone. Theoretically. Do you have the stone? 
No, no, this no, is no, all no, hypothetical. No. This is all hypothetical. Well, if it was just a regular stone, nothing. Uh, although you might transfer the soul to that stone. <laughs> or, uh, it, depending on if that stone also holds a soul, then you would merge them together and you would have a totally different being. Uh. <laughs> we may have fucked up and touched the stones again. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We might be fine. Let's just check the stone out. I hope I've been helpful, Ish. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Let him out. Also, can I insight this guy to see if he's being truthful? Yeah. Because, I mean, that sounds like a hell of a yarn. It's a uh, 30, 17, 17. He doesn't look like he's lying. Cool. All right, let him out. I would Please. Be. Wonderful. Uh, so since you've been so generous, stone toucher. I would very love to uh, know where some dark dealings are made in this city. Ah, uh, yes. You were looking for the market, uh, the dark one, yeah. not the light one. No, <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, you're going to need to go to the barracks for that. <coughs> See, the entry to it is not exactly just easy what's in. No, we make sure it's in the guards' place. No one's sense. obviously going to think it's that, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. All right. <laughs> so you gotta go. You gotta uh, kind of navigate through the guards. It's in one of the back rooms, I believe. If you move, one of the guards. No, I think it's the guard captain's cot. I think it's his cot. You have to move. There's a trap door. You go under the trap door. You walk through a tunnel. It takes you about twenty-ish minutes. Uh, you'll see a sign. It'll say left or right. Don't go left. Go right. Okay. Uh, if you go left, just don't go left. Go right. Um, what happens if you go left? If you go left, I don't know. I've never went left, but it's not <laughs> supposed to be good. Um, but you go right. Um, I think it's written in under common though, so you should probably know that. Um, or, uh, and then if you when you go right, you should be there relatively within 20 to 2 hours, depending on your speed. Okay. Um, or you can take the easy route and just ask that... Um, Fuzzy man over there. My boyfriend. <laughs> My boyfriend. He uh, he's an enforcer. He knows all about it. He, they have a special. They have their own route to get in there because obviously they're a little too big to go through the other one. Plus, having the main entrance underneath the guard captain's cot would be not very practical. Oh, we 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 uh, uh, we charmed him a long time ago. He will never see it there. How much of the guard is under your control? Uh, the, the guard captain, so one set of barracks on the first level. Um, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> this town is This fun. is very nice to know. Why? Why do you want to go down there? Oh, that is my business and my business only. Mm, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I won't pry too much. Uh, but yeah, you have one or two options. Engage with that how you like. Anyways, I got, I got, I gotta go get things. I have things to do, deliveries to make, people to watch. Where can we find you if we need you again? Um, well, uh, I'm sure you will find us. Yes, indeed, I will. But uh, just look around. I'm sure I'll be watching you from somewhere. Okay. Uh, and he watches you skedaddles off really quick down the alleyway. Since you teach all over the Rashi Shaw. All right. Right after. Yes, yeah, so are you ready? Drag oh, on his yes. chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know it. Oh, you're like my breastplate. Yes, it's very Ig- nice. Ignore these thoughts. I'd like it off of you more. Well, no, it's my armor. See, I, I need it. I need, I need a way in. <laughs> I need a way into my armor? Me too. <laughs> I, need, I need a way into that dark place. What dark place <laughs> are you too. speaking of? That place between your legs where the sun don't shine. <laughs> that, mark, that mark that is not open to everybody. <laughs> I haven't heard much from my little... I'm sorry, what are you? What am I? What are you, yes. <laughs> what is your name? I'm Nifan. Nifan. And what are and you exactly? What are you? I'm your, a... your name. <laughs> I am... Hold on. I actually have it here. Don't piss off my <laughs> boyfriend! I am what Millicent Chaser. Millicent Chaser? Millicent Chaser. M-I-L-L-I-C-E-N-T. What's your last name? 
Chaser. <laughs> well, my name is Meowin Chaser. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Look, um, uh, you want to go see some friend, yes? Yes. Indeed. Would you like to go meet this Gavin fellow? Yes. Yes, Gavin Dance. These guys need to meet Gavin, and I have more important matters. With Gavin? No, with you! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Let's go meet Gavin. We're gonna go meet Gavin. Alright, now we can. Oh, I'm so enamored by you right now. Follow me, and he watches, he gives like a flourish twist and then flicks his cape. What's more? Hey, can I pay you 20 Oh no! To take off your breastplate for like a minute. <laughs> just like. Just like. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I have. I got fifty uh-huh. bucks for you to take out, take out your tits. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not a prostitute. And so it was. Any person Roll persuasion a for enough money. You fainted. Shut up. I fainted. I rolled <laughs> that one on my car. What's that? Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> I fall in Ethan's arms. <laughs> I suppose for a quick minute. <laughs> that one's always helpful. And he reaches out his paw. I give him twenty gold. All right. <laughs> And, uh, as do as he leads you to Gavin, he starts unhooking the breastplate, and then he pulls it off, and uh, it's a very built chest he's got going on. Although it's covered by fur, but you can see that there's a lot of muscle there, being as he's a big rakshasa. So. And he just kind of holds it to his side as you walk, and then exactly a minute later, and no less, no more, he puts it back on. All right, all right. He clips it. Does he have crazy rock hard abs too? You you would think so, but there's also fur on him. You can't exactly see the but definition like, too much. It's not like he was fat. No, and you the don't. breastplate was just making him look buff. <laughs> no, <Okay>. no, <laughs> no. Just wondering. God damn it! You're so attractive. <laughs> you're welcome, you Gwen. That'll be twenty gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we should probably uh, deal with that stone thing. It's fine. Uh, once it. more, as you guys are walking in closer to the Gavin's area, you. Uh, feel the trembling again, except this time it stops, and then you he- you start to see like steam emit from the ground in certain spots. It's like breaks open this cracks between stone. See like things are getting worse. Oh dear, this is a predicament. Me no. All right, uh, follow me. Quick pace. We are almost there. Um, in about three minutes, you. Uh, you're there at the door. Uh, it's a simple hut, actually, uh, in between much larger houses. Uh, the roof is just made of, like, hay and straw. And then the rest of it is, like, logs strapped together. <clears throat> and then the door. Well, here we are. If you have any other requirements or questions you would like to ask, feel free to let me know. I need a way to block my I do not know that. I was about to believe that you do. I am a simple tiger of going about his day. I sincerely believe that. But I'll, I'll suck your dick for an answer. answer. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you this? I would know my layers on the same, right? Hmm. Uh, no, he actually doesn't give his name. A certain... Oh, my um, tricky man, he a, is a mutual friend of ours. I know who you speak of. All right, fair enough. Um, I will tell you the way, and it's through this hut. Ask Gavin. That's a Ask Gavin. All right, I must be on my way. Yeah, um, we gotta get going. It's getting pretty late. So. <laughs> Well, where are you going? Uh, wherever you're going, baby. <laughs> hey, no, that's my line. Oh, my. It seems baby? I have done a thing, <laughs> as he looks at me, fan. I bid you all farewell. Oh, perhaps know, our <laughs> paths will cross once again. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, he flourishes his cape, and he begins walking off high and mighty. Good. At the hut. Call me! <laughs> Oh, you know what I'm going to... I enter. Uh, you enter? Okay. Uh, Alright. Right. This is going to be good. What are you doing? Uh, I think I'm going to cast Sending. And I'm going to send him <laughs> a short message from where we're standing when he's walking away. 
Um, <laughs> I, I just say, um, huh? What level is it? It's a third spell? level spell. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> All right. Um, You're wasting a third level spell in a bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, is it Rock Shasa? What? Nothing. Never mind. Uh, so what are you doing? Um, I'm just going to send him a short message. 25 words or less. Uh, <laughs> fuck me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I say, um... But it has uh, 25 words, so it ends up the last sentence is, uh, fuck. <laughs> you are one sexy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, and he knows it's me too. As you're watching him walk away in the distance and he hears that voice inside his head, immediately all you hear is Bah! and he jumps up in the air, his first stick straight up, his tail puffs out, he goes and he hunches his back real hard and he clings to the ground and he begins booking it in a random direction. You officially scared the crap out of him. Sir, I don't think he's attracted to you like he is to me. <laughs> yeah, because he's not attracted to you at all, and he's not attracted to you at all. It's not like Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and yeah, as you open the door, I want to be a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> you enter a mountainside, oh. looking over a vast, desolate land covered with snow. You can Is there see anywhere to go. There's all around you. You can go. Do I see anything around me? You just see snow and more snow. Uh, it's you see blizzards in the distance. It's cold. Okay. Well, before I walk through the door, I'll close the door, and then open it up again. Okay. You close the door. You open it up again, and you're greeted to a desert. I'm like, this might be the wrong door. I close it again, open it again. <laughs> you open it once more and you see uh, what looks like to be a marketplace inside a mountain. This looks promising and I'll step through. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> and that. Close the door, open it up. Why? Close the door and open it up. Do open it, <laughs> it up. <laughs> and you are now in a rainforest awesome. where you see Gavin currently uh, <laughs> dealing with uh, the vegetation there. Wait, I, I, I fixed everything. And like, he, he probably trapped me. Yeah. <laughs> the doorway is closed for you. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. Sorry, I, I stepped through the cabin, though. I closed the door. <laughs> <laughs> that is where we'll leave off yeah. this episode of That 20. That was I didn't think of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>